Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the National Advanced Surface to Air Missile System or the Norwegian Advanced Surface to Air Missile System. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now fact one, Norwegian and USA combination. So you may hear about this missile system addressed as the National Advanced Surface to Air Missile System, but really, the proper name would be actually the Norwegian, it also starts with the N, the Norwegian Advanced Surface Air Missile System. And the reason is because a Norwegian defense company is the primary developer of this missile system. Yes, the United States Raytheon company also participated, but this is really an initiative started by the Norwegian government or the Norwegian military industry. And so you can infer Norway, or the Norwegian military, is actually the primary user of this missile system. Despite making headlines about the United States procuring it and giving it to Ukraine at the time of this video, the Norwegian military industries are the ones that developed this. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2. A multi-part system. So similar to the Patriot missile system that the United States developed, this missile system is also comprised of antennas, radars, and of course the launchers. The images and pictures you see is always just the launchers because that's the most popular or most interesting part. But when in reality, it's a multi-part system because you need radars to track incoming targets. You need antennas and other electronic mechanisms to make sure you can detect them and track them and then illuminate them for the missiles to hit. And so it's very similar to other surface-to-air missile defense systems where you need a multi-part system. You need to set up the radars, set up the antennas, set up the launchers of course, and probably power generation and so forth to operate this thing. This is a system, not a single component. It's definitely not a truck-based rocket launcher where you just drive to somewhere raise it up and fire. No, you will need a bunch of radar equipment and electronic warfare equipment in order to make it effective. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact three, air-to-air -air missiles. Now, what's very interesting about this missile system is that although it's classified as a service-to-air missile system, the Norwegian developers actually decided to arm the launchers with air-to-air -air missiles. Yes, you heard that right. They armed the launchers with traditional off-the-shelf commercial air-to-air -air missile systems like the AMRAM or the Sidewinder. And it's pretty interesting to me because normally missile systems such as the Patriot or HIMARS or even the Russian S-300, S-400 develop missiles and rockets specifically to be launched from the ground. And I think they Norwegian developers took a very ingenious move to actually use air-to-air -air missiles. Because if you think about it, the missile spends most of the time in the air, right? Flying and tracking toward the target and hitting the target. And so rather than developing a brand new component and brand new part, if you will, you can simply leverage easy to buy, easy to procure air-to-air -air missiles and simply load them into the launcher to be fired. And so I think it's extremely clever and brilliant on their part to reuse components and reuse ready-to-use ammo so that they don't need to further develop the missiles itself. They can just concentrate on the missile systems and the peripheral electronics. And then they can simply buy more air-to-air -air missiles for their air force and for this missile system. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact four, three generations. So this missile system has been in service for a while, and it's now in its third generation. With each generation, further improvements were made to its tracking abilities, its radar components, its ability to track and illuminate incoming targets, and as well as accommodating more and more air-to-air -air missiles. Yes, they continued with the advancement of using air-to-air -air missiles in this missile system. Again, I think it's very clever and very wise to conserve resources for research and development 
so that they don't need to waste time developing missiles that are already proven in the air. Air-to-air missiles is an old and proven technology, and these missiles, they fire and fly in the air most of the time. If you think about it, when they're in the ground, in the launchers, they're not really doing anything. So why would you need a specialized missile or rocket? You can simply leverage air-to-air missile technology that's widely available to arm these missile systems. In addition to accommodating more air-to-air missiles, the missile system in the third generation also improved its range, its altitude tracking, and even incorporated laser systems from Raytheon to destroy swarms of drones that are small and harder to hit, and also wasteful to use one huge missile to hit something as small as the DJI drone. Now let's get into the next and final fact. Highly mobile. Compared to other missile systems, the Norwegian developers designed this si missile system to be highly mobile. What that means is everything is on a mobile platform. Everything is on a truck bed or something with wheels, so you can easily transport it to a location quickly and set up to defend that area. It's also readily to be transported by air with large cargo jets like the C-130 so that they can deploy worldwide at a short moment's notice without too much impact to logistics or accommodations for these type of missile systems. The mobility and the quickness to deployment is a theme of modern militaries and it is critical to have these features and capabilities because in this day and age there are no more conventional wars where battles drag on for days and days but it's all quick skirmishes that pop up and end before you even know it. Alright, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.